Here we, this is Joel in and Jay from MaravillaNayarit.com. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal. Bienvenidos to another video at Buserias Joel with Joel and NJ. NJ. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our channel. If you're new, uh, welcome. Bienvenidos. Uh, what you should do if you're new is immediately, while you're thinking about it, hit that like and subscribe to the channel so that you can get our notifications when our fun videos come out. Anyways, we thought we'd have a little fun today. Go do a little tour around the Upper East Side, NJ, and maybe go check on Vista Victoria, uh, also previously known as uh, Paul's Cafe and Condos. Uh, we've done a whole bunch of rebranding, as a lot of you know, but it's known as Vista Victoria, and we're almost sold out there. So I thought, let's go check it out, uh, show the progress. We're really starting to, to move. And uh, there are a couple good units available, and man, this area, the Upper East Side is really starting to come alive. What do you think, NJ? I think so. Uh, are you digging it? I'm digging it. I yeah. like living out here. Yeah. It's, it, it really is a, a super nice change. So anyways, NJ and I are going to do a little uh, walk through the neighborhood and maybe from Vista Victoria. I don't know. We'll just, I think we're going to just let this happen organically. Um, you know, show you what's kind of in the hood and why maybe a couple of the, the things that we like about living here. But before we go, I thought I would show the mezcal of the day. We won't have a mezcal every day because then that would make me drink too much, but today we're calling this the mezcal of the day. And I like this one. Uh, we have this uh, in the shop, and the Bicicusrias shop. So if you want to come taste this, you can come to Bicicusrias, and it's a mezcal amor de agave. And this is 100% uh, uh, agave, and it's from Oaxaca. And I kind of like this one. It's because uh, a lot of mezcals will get up to that 46 to 48 percent, which I don't mind. But sometimes it just wants something just a little bit lighter and uh, easy drinking. So, salute, MJ. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give away a bottle of the Amor de Agave. So, what should we do, NJ? Maybe we should go back to one of our past videos, what do you think? So go back right now and watch the video when we did the amazing food tour in Mexico City. We'll put a link in the description. And when we were in the, it was the market, right? The food market. Uh, our guide, uh, Avidan, was talking about um, the anata plant. And he specifically said a specific kind of cheese has the achiote in it, or the anata plant, for the coloring, right? Which cheese was that? So go back to the video, and the first person to guess correctly uh, wins the bottle of Amor de Agave, uh, the, the one that's actually full, so we'll give you one that's not open. And secondly, um, for all of you who get the correct answer, we're just gonna do a random draw. How's that sound? So we're gonna give away two bottles of Amor de Agave, one bottle to the person who gets it correct first, and then we're gonna do a little draw for all of you who have guessed the correct answer. Anyways, let's, uh, let's go check out uh, Vista Victoria and then perhaps I think, you know, given the area, this wonderful area that we're in, we'll be able to find something to uh, wet your whistle. Sound good? Sounds good, let's Vamanos. do it. Vamanos. MJ. Hey, Upper East Side. Upper East Side. It's really like coming together these days, It's eh? coming together. Uh, Cooley's is closed. It's Taco Tuesday today. It's Tuesday when Tuesday. we're actually shooting. Uh, we're Cooley's actually shooting on, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, Cooley's is closed. Um, but I had an idea, NJ. What's your idea? I think we should do a series called Upper East Side Eats. Upper East Side Eats. Yeah, so we can, we can visit all the places that we love on the Upper East Side and the Lower East Side too. Or we could just call it East Side Eats. Maybe Upper Eats Side. Upper Eats Side. <laughs> we'll, okay. we'll, we'll, well, we'll work on that name a little bit. Well, let's do a poll. Upper um, Eats Side. Upper Eats Side. Upper East Side Eats or just East Side Eats. Hashtag East Side Eats. You decide. I, I kind of like East Side Eats just because there's a lot more on the East Side than just the Upper East Side. There's the Lower East Side. There's the Upper East Side. There's the Middle East Side. There's yeah. Midtown. There's Uptown. There's Downtown. Look at these guys, they're having a fun. Well, let's go party with these guys. We're gonna go see East Victoria. Well, I'm wearing my little vest, NJ, because it was a little chilly today. It was very overcast. Oh. It actually rained for like about 
five, ten minutes in the morning. Yeah, I did a, a tour today and it, it didn't really rain on the tour. It was kind of like sprinkling every now and then. And there was a little bit of rain we could see as we went up the road into the mountains. It was kind of nice. I like the overcast. And as we're here at Vista Victoria, uh, things are progressing, hey? They are. You notice? Like, uh, literally by the end of next week, we're going to be putting on the next floor. And then a couple weeks after that, the floor after that. So these guys are uh, really starting to move. I'm pretty happy with the new crew, as we all know. And sometimes this happens, man. Like, uh, development and building houses, building apartments, whether it's just a single house or condos like what we're doing, it's not for the faint of heart. And you've lived in this business and seen like, and I'm, I'm not saying everyone, but I think in general, a lot of people think this is just so easy and everything just should be so perfect. But at the end of the day, it's a freaking hard job. And if it was that easy, guess what? How many people would be doing it, NJ? A lot of people. Yeah, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be doing it. From it. I love uh, building, I love creating, uh, and I love being on the Upper East Side right now on this part of Busarias and the things that we're doing to, I think, get to better the community. I like our projects. You know, the good, bad, and there's the good, bad, and ugly and everything that we all do, but I like, in the end of the day, if I add up all the pluses, take away all the minuses, I think we're ahead. What do you think? I think so too. Let's go in and see Let's what's uh, going on in here. We got a little, uh, I think this, we got the little uh, office set up here. It's el bar. El bar. Hay una margarita en los rocas uh, con sal y limón. <laughs> Gracias. Right. Safety first. NJ, okay. you got, uh, well, you wish you had closed to, closed toed shoes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Very safe. Look around. Nope. These are the things that can kill you. You know, that's why you're supposed to be wearing boots here. But since we're in flip-flops, uh, just be cuidado, you know? A little extra careful. It's looking good, though. Yeah. So this is the stairs coming up to the main. Hola, como están? So this is coming into, let's call it like the lobby. Um, and from here you enter one of the apartments on the main floor, which is already sold. This is a great apartment, actually. I uh, love this unit. I I'm going to put the link uh, below with a link to the plan. you got to check this one out, but we will start. <clears throat> but this is originally was a lock off um, with a one bedroom apartment and a studio. But what they did was made it one apartment and they made the lock off their master bedroom. So their master bedrooms, all this space back here, NJ. And then it opens up to the backyard, so you can imagine all the greenery, and they can lock that off so when they're renting it out, the renters aren't using this space. The rentals will be using this space in here, which is a one bedroom, one bath, with a nice balcony in the front. A little bit of an ocean view, nothing, nothing crazy, but you can see it. I you can, can see, see it. it. You can see it to the side there. It's definitely there. It's hard to see on the camera, but... It is there, there and is I can it. see the boats. But I also like the mountain, little mountain in the hill view there, huh? We have one town home left, okay? And that's this guy right here. And it's really loosely based after our house. The layout is very, very, very similar, minus the, the casita where Bob and Lynn live, and minus the apartment where you and Chantel live. But the main floor and the master bedroom are very similar to what we're living in right now. And for the price point of, um, Starting at four fifty, depending on what you're going to end up doing, around four hundred fifty thousand dollars U.S. Give or take a few grand, uh, you could basically have a single-family home with a double-car garage and one of the most, which is going to be, I think, the most coveted area in all of Busarias. And as you go up here, guess what your views are going to look like? And these townhomes actually have a rooftop, so you're going to add a rooftop terrace up there when you buy it, or you're going to do something in the future. But you're going to have uninterrupted views of the ocean. I think that's uh, pretty darn cool. It's gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, it's gonna be really, really nice. I mean, if there's anything like from uh, Joel's Wine Bar. Yeah, like we can look at the views here. up there. Uh, we should just like insert them. The view is gonna be exactly the same, but you're actually closer here. Above here, we have two more units. The top floor unit just sold. Sorry, wow. buddy. Uh, we just took the offer a couple days ago or last week and the uh, deposit was made so that one's done but i do have the second floor unit available so that's a one bedroom 
with a lock off or you could do something similar which these guys did where you put your master bedroom in the back you have your one bedroom rental in the front and uh, guess what because you're on the second floor and these first floor are, i think 12 feet you're gonna have a pretty beautiful view um, of the ocean from from the front here when i walk when i saw it on the plan i'm like it wasn't that big but look at this this is all retail this whole area yeah or a cafe restaurant like really the idea was a cafe or a small restaurant so if you're in the restaurant business and you're looking for a new location i mean i'm just uh, have to go back to the plans to check it out but i think we're probably close to around 850 900 square feet so 80 to 85 square meters of a really nice restaurant space with a balcony that kind of wraps around and you do get those uh, partial ocean views and you get those mountain views. So yeah, a few units left. We got one more, we got the one townhome, we have the one apartment, and that's it. Only two, two, two units left. Yeah, everything else is sold out. That's amazing. That's pretty amazing. Oh, congratulations, Joel. <laughs> well, what did you think? That was I great. Mean, I mean, it's always hard because there's not like, there's that much to see, especially if you're not in the construction business, but there's a, there's been a lot of good progress here and uh i'm super stoked yeah you know and you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit and kind of like understand <clears throat> what uh what is happening yeah but you can definitely see lots of good progress and yeah. oh it's exciting yeah I, i'm pretty excited is tacos and beer open on tuesday or are they closed too i think actually you know what i think everything closed on tuesday <laughs> We might, we might have a bust here. We might have a little bit of bust. Maybe we'll just go get a beer. I think this is right here. <laughs> it's right here. So okay. when all else fails, when everything else is closed, um, you can get a beer. So just like Tuesday basically is like Sunday. Yeah, it's kind of weird. On and it's Cinco like this whole street is, it, it closes, closes down, down on down Tuesday. Because we got, well, Tacos and Beer is closed. Yeah. Coolies is closed. Enrique's is closed. Boosie Burger is closed. Actually, the only thing open on the street right now is... Is Buclos. Buclos. Yeah. So... I might, be, it might be a little busy, but Let's we're just going to get a beer. Let's go check it out. We come here a lot. Yeah, you know, it's it's easy, right? Um, what are you going to do? I don't know. Let's take a look. They, they, changed, they changed the beers up quite a bit. I'm going to try the Hazy New England IPA. All right, well, so uh, we decided uh, because it is Taco Tuesday today that we're filming and there's no places actually open <laughs> on Cinco de Mayo. Uh, that what we're gonna do is we're gonna order from the Senaderia, which we've already done a video, so we're not gonna put that one in, but we will go back to the Senaderia to do a Senaderia specific video. Because I think, NJ, that would be awesome. Right? Like really uh, focus on the family and showcase their business, and I wanna get into the kitchen and start doing some stuff, if they'll allow me. So from Buclas Brewery, Cerveceria Buclas, Nos vemos hasta luego and oh before I say that magical word make sure you hit the like subscribe to the channel and toggle that notification bell right you want to do all three of those things I think so mm -hmm. helps us a lot anyways nos vemos hasta luego and adios desde buclas cerveceria aquí and the upper east side in Bucerías.